Uh, okay, come over here. Let's look at the chart. Okay. Um, OPK. Let's go over the chart here for Philip. First of all, we didn't do the first trade in this. We missed it. Completely missed it. Yes. Should have watched three things. Two things is a lot for me to watch. Anyways, this worked right out of the gate. I did rate the gap. I did rate the gap in the morning, but I also thought it would only have a small target. I mean, it ended. Look at this move today. Huge. Yes. <clears throat> so it fell off a planet. Boom. Look at that. Amazing. And even in here, I should have called it. For one split second, I thought, should I call it at 70, put the stop over the high, and then I didn't. I thought, it's too late, it's going. But the stop was good. It was still only a 30 cent stop. And then I thought, well, it'll back up, it'll back up, and never backed up. So then I called it in here with a wide stop. That was a good call. Everybody stayed with it. Then the stop was 82. I said you could add at 55. You did take some more then. I did take, yes. I did okay. take some more. <laughs> so how many shares do you have right now? I have 5,000. And what are you up right now? And what's your price? Not, I'm up 696. Okay. My price is 747. Beautiful. So look at it. It looks fine. It looks amazing. Yes, it does. Where are you going to get out? Look, this looks so good. This is a complete reversal. And you were freaking out. I wasn't freaking out. You were freaking out from this. I was questioning what I, what I was seeing in relation to what you think. Some people got out there that were shorted. Yes. Yes. And as I told you, I might have because of the fact that I would have been heavier into it yes. and not wanted to hold it longer, not wanted to keep trading later in the day. And therefore, if I had done this, I would have just walked on the size. It's a cheap stock for a move down in. And I did say 730, 725, 720. I did say it's going to do something in one of these areas. It could have been 725. Where did it go to? 731. Yes. But this isn't a problem number. Here it's going right now, you're up more. What are you, what are you gonna do? You can't make the decision in the live moment because it bounces back too fast. And if this goes down to 715 and then that's it and you don't get out and it bounces back to 730, do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, you know, you have to decide, and this is the whole discussion in the room today, before you enter a trade, how much you're risking, if you'd like it enough to retake it, you don't have to decide if you're going to add or not, you know, necessarily. You did this because you didn't know if you're going to get in that. And I said it was fine to do that. But you, you kind of need to know what you're doing with this now. I would be happy at break even or, as you suggested, 715, 720 area. 715, you're going to be up money. I will be. Yeah. If it gets to 715, though, I'm telling you that it's going to break it probably. Right. But it might do a little... Yes, three like green bar, to, boo, boo, boo. Yes, yes. And then what are you going to do? Like what this could do is, I'm just, because I know charts, it could go up, do this, drop, break, do, do, do. Then it goes down. Before it breaks it, goes up into this resistance here. Right. And then drops and breaks it after. Right. The resistance then of 7.30-ish. Right. It could bounce back 15 cents, drop, break, go to 7. I mean, would you cut your position in half? That's another option you can do. And lower your stop. I like to full on play things through usually, that's what I do. And no, I told you I don't think you should lower the stop, I said that, I think you should keep it. People right. in the room wanted to lower the stop, and I said if you want it, you can. Obviously if they did, they were fine. People could have lowered the stop here, but you know, when you train later in the day, you're, you, you, know, you have to be watching the market, and you also really should use the correct stop anyways, and this looks very good. And I also told you that no one's going to be buying this today. It either continues to go or it just flat lines. And as it's, you've seen, it's continued to go. Right. Now let's look at the cues. They're red. The spy is red. Yes. I don't think we're going to recover in the market today. I think the market will not recover green today. Right. I'm not saying it has a big sell-off, but knowing that, you have the market against you. It is 12 o'clock major reversal time. I would like to see this go now and continue here between 12 and 1 because it's getting close to the lows, because it's major reversal time. I don't think this should take two hours to go 15 cents. Right. It's not going to not move. It's either going to push back or it's going to keep going in the next two hours. So it would be better if it takes between now and 1 to keep going. But it's slow moving here, but that's a good sign of selling. So again, what do you want to do? 
Well, I'll just stay with it as long as I possibly can. You, you can stay with it to 359 if you want, but that's not yeah, I don't where realistically, the stock will be 359. Realistically, uh, if I... Yes, I would be getting itchy when I was getting to break even, definitely. What are you up right now? You're going to be up 800 something, I think, now. Um, just short 700. You, the, the trade's working. It's, it's I mean, well, what, it is, you know, it's, it is. it's fine. So why would I want to kill it? Right, so that's why I'm, try, I'm trying to tell you. Where are you going to get out? 715, let it break. Yes. 720? 715, ideally. You know, 10 more cents, you're going to be up over a thousand bucks? Yes. 10 more cents, it's $500. You're going to be up 1200 something then in the, in the yeah. trade. Yeah. Because of the position you have with 5,000 shares. So what are you going to do? I'm going to do as you suggested. I, I told you, you could get out at 715, you could get out at seven. What do you want to do? If you get out at seven, the whole the whole total of profit in this trade will be twenty three fifty. That would be terrific for you. It would. Uh, you know, really. Yeah, I'd be up thirteen hundred on the day. Yeah, yeah, you would more than have exceeded your goal I for would. that where you're doing in the day, and also that you would have had another over two thousand yeah. dollar trade. Yes. But no one said it's going to take five minutes. I That's know. the problem that with trading is, in the afternoon. That is the problem. Yeah. You know, what are you gonna do? Well, I suppose the question is how long, how long am I available to sit here? Well, I don't know. Do you have things right. to do today? I, I don't have anything to do. Yeah, no. I told you I have to do work, so Whatever. I'll do my work. You're fine with that. I am. And if it's okay I'm saying you. you can stay here. You can play it out. Right. Thank but you. I still, you still have to know if you're gonna get out of it at seven fifteen or seven. If you're sitting here staring at it, watching. But as you say, it could plow through seven fifteen. And then go down to seven. In which case, yes, I would if, take if it. If it does seven. that, it's easy. It's just like when it the stock is. fell out of the sky this morning, but we weren't watching it. it. It's easy to decide then. It's but when it stops at seven fifteen, bounces, yes. goes back. What are you going to do? That's when you think, Ugh. what are you going to do? At this moment, I like the look of it. I like what it's doing, so I would play to seven. If it goes down to the low of the day and does not break in a fall off a planet, what are you going to do? Take it out. Take it. Yes, that's what you need to know, and you yes. need to decide, and you need to make a conscious decision and right. not play it in the moment and say, I think, boop, boop, boop. Okay. All right. All right, this is Melissa Armour with the Stock Swish. We'll review the OPK once Philip gets out of it. He's holding on, and we'll see what happens. Email me at melissa at the stockswish.com if you want more information, everybody, and have a good day. <laughs>